Welcome to Tackle Bruce, Texas. Rupert Ellis, uh, assisted by uh, young Dave in the background, who's our cameraman today. So hi, hi, Dave. Hi. There you go. So, wanted to talk to you about a great round for uh, personal protection and home defence. Um, so, without further ado, let me just open up a box and show you a really, really appropriate calibre and round that maybe you haven't uh, looked at before. Obviously, it's the 38 Special round, uh, and this has been around for a fair while now, and, uh, and we all know, love, and trust this round, don't we? In fact, uh, myself and my wife, uh, I have a 357 uh, Magnum revolver, which I fire 38 Special through, because that way there's so little kick and so little recoil, it's just a delight to shoot. This isn't actually the caliber I wanted to talk to you about today, though. Uh, absolutely not. Um, it's this little fella here. And Dave, if I could invite you to come forward a little bit closer, just so that I can show the, the, the ladies and gentlemen back home. Uh, hopefully that's being picked up okay against my T-shirt, because what you're looking at there is a 22 Magnum. A 22 Magnum round. So, 22 Magnum and 38 Smith uh, Special. Ooh, 22s. Here we are talking about 22s as being a good round for personal protection and home defense. Well, yeah, it really is. Um, it really is. Uh, and, and you know, you, th th there's people out there who will tell you that you can kill an elephant with a 22. Um, but this is a 22 Magnum. It's a slightly different story. And, and we have revolvers, just like this fabulous little Charter Arms uh, Pathfinder, that are calibred in 22 Magnum. So why do I uh, why do I mention this today? Well, it's a strange thing because uh, I, I've. Um, I have a pal of mine who's a, who's a football coach who had occasion earlier this year to, to shoot a, a, a wild boar or a feral hog, I should say, uh, on, uh, on, on, the, uh, on the grounds of the, their training pitches one morning. It was about a 350 pound pig, and, and, and ironically, the only gun he had to hand was his little 22 Magnum. And, and it's weird, isn't it, that a 350 pound feral hog, uh, something that's got bristles about yay long on it, uh, that's a densely muscled and fatty, you know. How many people do you know that weigh 350 pounds that have got hair on them that long? Actually, this is Texas, so probably plenty. However, for the, for the rest of us, not so much. And, and pigs are renowned for being robust, uh, bullet resistant. Personally, I don't think I am. I'm a human being, not such a hairy thing. So a 22 Magnum, if it will kill a 350 pound pig, then it will kill me for sure. In fact, in Argentina, my, my, my great mate down there has a 22 Magnum rifle that he was given when he was about 13 years old. Uh, and uh, he's now, uh, he's a bit older than me, so he's knocking on the door of 60. Uh, probably a bit older than that now, Patricio. Anyway, hi, uh, Patricio from Texas. Now he's shot, uh, so he says, about 7,000 black buck with this 22 Magnum. He shot red stags and he shot all manner of other uh, animals down there too. It was the gun that he had when he was a kid. So why is it such an efficient and uh, uh, round and why does nobody carry it? Well, it's a 22, and because we all laugh at people who carry a 22. But here's the unfortunate fact of it. There's an ammunition uh, calibre out there, 38 Special. Uh, there's a, a, there's a, a, a hollow point round called a Grizzly that weighs 158 grains. And when you fire that, when, when we talk about energy, um, we talk about uh, foot-pounds of pressure. There was a fellow Einstein, uh, E equals MC squared, energy equals mass uh, by, who cares? Anyway, long story short, foot-pounds of energy. 327 foot-pounds of energy, or thereabouts, out of a 38 Special. Your 22 Magnum, this is a much smaller bullet, but it's going really quick. It's going 2,200 feet per second. So for 2,200 feet per second, how fast is that? That's 1,500 miles an hour. That's twice the, the speed of sound. Uh, it's a supersonic round going twice the speed of sound, no kidding. So what this generates in terms of power compared to our 38 special round is about 340 foot-pounds of energy. Um, it generates more energy than the 38. You know, we wouldn't think twice about going out with a lever-action rifle and going shooting hogs with 38 special ammunition, and we loads and loads of us carry 38 special for our personal protection needs. Yet this little 22 Magnum generates more power with less recoil, the ammunition's cheaper and is readily available now. So, weird isn't it? 22 Magnum, if you're looking for a calibre for home defence uh, and uh, you really, uh, you know, you're not um, great with recoil, if, you, if you, you prefer a gun with very little recoil, this may well be the calibre for you. I've been Rupert today talking um, ballistics, uh, <laughs> as opposed to what I normally talk, uh, from Tacklebury's, Texas. Uh, come see us if, if you can, uh, it'd be nice to see you. 22 Magnum, good calibre. 